you can create a completely unique store design using Cafe Commerce's design tools. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your store's design, including changes the images, colors, and text, as well as changing some of the page layouts. So once you've logged into your Cafe Commerce Manager, choose the Design tab to see the designs. Here there are a number of themes for you to choose from. Simply choose Select next to the theme that you'd like to choose, and that will instantly update the design that's used on your live store. Most likely you'll want to customize the design before you go live with it instead of just choosing one of the designs that's provided. So first you want to choose a design that has the look and feel that you're looking for with your website. And once you've chosen that design, simply click Customize. Now this opens the Cafe Commerce Design Editor so that you can customize your themes, colors, images, and fonts. Since my online store is a coffee shop store, I'm going to be changing this to a brown coffee colored theme. Now the fastest way to change the color scheme used for your theme is using the magic slider. This will update all the colors on your site. So I'm going to drag the slider until I find the, co the coffee colored theme that I'm looking for. So I've now found a brown color scheme that I'm happy with. I'm just going to make a few more changes to some of the colors used on the site. The primary color section lists the more prominent colors used throughout your site. You can hover over each color to see where they're most commonly used. This is obviously the color for my page background, so if I wanted to change this color to be a little bit of a lighter brown, simply choose a color that I like here and click Apply Color. The menu text color here, I'm going to change to be a more of a gold color. And so that's all the changes that I need to make to my colors. Now let me show you how to customize your images. Choose the images option from the side navigation here and the first image that you want to change is your store logo. I have a logo that I want to use for my store so I'm going to click the browse option here to go select that logo now. So this opens the file manager for you to upload images and make modifications to those images. So first thing you need to do is click choose file to select the file that you want to upload. And here's my folder with my images. I'm going to choose my logo and click open. And now once I've selected the image, I'm going to click upload and that'll upload the image into the file manager. And with the image selected, click OK. And now you can see that the logo has been updated on my site. So the next image I want to change is my page background. So simply choose page background and then click browse again and as you can see you're provided with all the page backgrounds that are used throughout all the default themes and you can upload your own background images here as well so I'm going to click choose file select the background image I want to use and click open and once that image is uploaded it will be selected here for me to click OK and that background image is now being applied to my store as you can see it's repeating right now which I don't want so in order to turn that off, simply uncheck these two options. Now what I do want is I want the, lo the background image to center in the middle of the image. So from the position options, I'm going to choose center and leave top selected. So there you go, I've now updated the images used for my store and it's beginning to look like a coffee shop website. So the last change I'm going to make is to the fonts. Here you have the ability to choose a number of different unique fonts for your website. The default font on my website I am going to change to be Verdana. And then I'm going to choose the Headings tab to change the Headings font that I want to use. For my headings I want something a little bit fancier so I've chosen this Dancing Script option. And I'm going to change my main navigation font to Arial. Now you also have the opportunity to change the side navigation font that is used. As you can see my home, my home page doesn't display the side navigation. So in the preview here, you can navigate to any other page that you'd like. So if I choose the products page, here you can see the side navigation. So I'm going to change, change this font to Arial as well. So that's how easy it is to change the colors, images, and fonts used throughout your website. Now let me show you how to save your theme and apply it to your store. Click Save. And then you can enter a name for the theme for this theme. Your new custom themes are shown in a custom themes section and you can create as many custom themes as you'd like. You may want to create multiple custom themes in case you're having a special event where your store's design is going to change or you're going to use a different image and that way you can easily switch back when that sale ends. Once your new theme is ready to go live, simply click select 
and that now changes to the current theme. Now if I go to the home page of my live store, you'll see that my design has been updated. Now let me show you how you can change some of the page layouts. Under page settings, you can choose the page that you want to modify the layout for. I'm going to start by changing my home page layout. Cafe Commerce provides you with three different home page layouts that you can choose from. For my example, I'm going to choose a stacked, featured, and popular option. Now after selecting this option, my live site has been instantly updated. So now if I go to my home page and refresh the page, you'll see the layout has now been changed. There are also options for your product catalog. So you can choose from a list or a grid view for your catalog page. And there's also options for your customer registration page. Other design options include customizing the capture graphic that appears on the Contact Us page, customizing the fave icon that shows up in the browser toolbar, as well as an advanced option for those who are comfortable modifying CSS and would like to add their own advanced rules to change the CSS that displays on Cafe Commerce. So that's about it for modifying your store's design and creating a completely unique online store. As you can see, my store design is ready to go, and the next thing I need to do is start adding products. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.